Hey, John, I have a quick question for you. Yeah. So I know that you have spoken about confidence game in relation to the upcoming Kentucky Derby, and you have interest in that horse. Um, you have also mentioned that there are critics out there that suggest that it should be a horse to exclude. I wanted to know, what are your thoughts on that? Great question, Linda. Thank you. And uh, welcome, horse race enthusiasts. Um, let me get into confidence game. I, I really think it's a great opportunity. Confidence game is a good opportunity to get a, maybe a high, highly priced horse that's uh, on the steady um, improvement. And um, really, the sky's the limit in this horse, from my perspective. So let me just start with a couple of things. Um, um, one is the pedigree of the horse. If we, if we take a quick look at the pedigree, right, what we're looking at is uh, a candy ride sired um, with a dame of uh, a blue sante, right? Now, uh, candy ride, a lot of people know candy ride. Um, some don't really know um, a blue sante. I didn't really know until I looked into it a little bit more. But a blue sante's um, um, sire is Bernardini, right? The late Bernardini, who's, who's a great uh, sire himself. And then underneath is uh, Ver, uh, Veraginu, right? Veraginu. So you say, like, who's that? You look into that, and she is the dam of uh, Zenyatta. And Zenyatta, obviously, everyone knows a uh, Philly champion uh, and, um, you know, a mare champion, uh, one of the greatest, you know, f uh, female horses um, ever. And um, I just think... Um, that's an exciting pedigree, right? It goes way back, and it's um, it should be fun to watch. Now, when you when folks are saying, you know, they, it should be excluded, what they're looking at is that um, the last race for Confidence Game, I think, was somewhere in the neighborhood of February twenty fifth uh, um, at the Rebel out at Oakland Park, and um, so that was you know almost two months ago. And what they're saying is no one has won the Kentucky Derby without having run in 60 uh, within, within 40 days, I think is what the record is. So I think you have to go back and say, well, why, why is this different? Well, why, why is this horse different? And what I'm looking for is I, I'm not looking for just like a, a direct sort of this one's going to win and this is the obvious winner and this is what we need to do. Because if it's the obvious winner, then everyone's going to select it, right? And you're going to have you're going to be a favorite, and it's going to be um, you know you're not going to make money on the on the race. What we want is an angle. We want a competitive advantage in a race that gives us a chance to succeed. So what I'm looking for is an angle, something where a horse is on the improve. Where we you know, and this one happens to line up. We have good pedigree. We have a trainer in Keith DeSormo, who. Um, has always pulled sort of tricks out of his bag. Um, and um, I feel like he's done that again here. Um, and the reason I say that is, you know, the horse hasn't run since February is from a, in a race standpoint. But if we go back to mid-April, it ran a one-mile workout. And I, I referred to this in other, other videos. And uh, the one-mile breeze from the gate is just, um, you don't see that anymore. You just don't see that sort of, that sort of training. And, um, it, you know, it ran really well in that, on all, all intents and purposes. And then the, it was followed up with a week later, a five furlong race on the 29th, just last week, weekend, um, where it was a bullet workout at five furlongs at 59, right? So um, that's, a, that's a great work, right? So what seems to me is that he had a horse, and I read some things that he said. He said he has a horse that is not like uh, some of the other horses out here like um, Kings Barn or Mage who have um, only three, three races under their belts and really needs the experience. This horse has over seven races um, and um, it's, you know, its last race was outstanding race, although it was in the mud. Um, and, you know, I think it has a, a, a good, a good uh, move forward. So, um, you know, we talked about the workouts. We talked about the one mile. That's an old time, you know, the one, the training is old time sort of training method. Um, the horse is also two for four at Churchill Downs. 
So something is telling me that it also likes Churchill Downs. And then, and then if we look at the Thomason figure, it's, I think it has the second best Thomason figure for the distance at 297. And then in the wet, which is uh, just kind of hit the radar today, possible chance of rain on, on Kentucky Derby Day, it has a 455 in the wet. So um, out of seven races, has three wins, two seconds, one third. And, um, you know, it just, it just seems to be on the uptake. They seem to have, no, no pun intended, had a lot of confidence in the horse, a lot of room to grow. Um, um, and I think what we're going to get, uh, I got one more point. I think what we're going to get is a horse that's going to have decent odds, that has a decent chance to win. And uh, it has tactical speed, but it, it also comes from sort of the mid-pack, um, so to be racing down at the end. It looks like it's going to have, uh, it has the pedigree to, to hang in there. Um, and the one thing I want to mention is uh, those who follow the channel know that I um, I had made some futures bets on a couple of horses that didn't make it. But one of the horses I'm really still kind of fond of is Red Route 1. And that Red Route 1 uh, came in second um, to confidence game in um, the last race, the Rebel. And, um, you know, we ran a very effective race. Red Route 1 was, you know, comes from behind. He, I mean, he's a deep, deep closer. And I, I saw confidence game put him, put him away in the final sort of strides. And so what we're looking at there is um, Red Route 1 came back to run uh, in an allowance race and, you know, cleaned it up. So uh, did really well. And uh, so, you know, I'm really favorable on confidence game. And I think we're going to get a really decent odds on him. Um, and I'm hoping it stays away from being sort of the smart, wise guy horse. Hopefully, uh, he continues to sort of lay under the, um, the radar. I'm hoping that it doesn't rain, um, mostly because his Thomason figure for the wet at 4.55 uh, kind of um, kind of kind of kind of shines a light on that you know he's a, he's a good horse in my opinion. So, pedigree, training, trainer. You got um, uh, um, um, Graham as the jock, Jimmy Graham, Irish Jimmy Graham. Um, uh, Tomlinson figures, uh, a steadily improving horse. Um, if you look at his workout, go check out, take a look at the workout on uh, the 29th. His, his gait is uh, very special. He's, a, he's, got, he's got a nice gait. He's a big, large horse, not heavy large, but just you can see the size. He's got the size, you know. So um, yeah, he's going to be one of my horses that I key on. Um, hopefully that uh, he's uh, has a good day on Saturday. So, um, an, another um, yeah. So, 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 I'll be following that up with um, uh, some picks um, that I you know how to use a horse like that. Let's say you don't want to lay down, um, you know, money on a on a on a, on a long shot, um, but you want to get some action on the long shot. And I think there's a way to do that. Not a lot of people do this, but with daily doubles. And in the, in at, at Churchill Downs on this weekend, Friday Oaks Day, they'll do an Oaks Derby double, where you can go in with, you know, three horses, you know, the favorite, a couple others, and then go with your long shot, maybe a favorite, and um, on in the Derby, and um, you have action with your long shot in in both races if you want. So um, stay tuned for that. So if you like this race, uh, this, this discussion on Confidence Game, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you know, tell your friends. I'm trying to boost up the uh, subscribership. And, um, you know, stay tuned for a couple of other sort of short, quick hits on uh, some of the key horses that I feel are key horses in uh, the Kentucky Derby. Thanks, horse racing enthusiasts. Talk to you soon. Thanks again. Bye.